Fruits Basket is a manga written by Natsuki Tatsuya. Uh, it's a, a drama sort of supernatural fantasy uh, manga that I wanted to check out because I found out that the anime's ending is not the real ending. The anime only covers about half the story. Uh, if you're not familiar with the story of Fruits Basket, it's about a uh, sort of homeless girl named Honda Toru. She's supposed to be living with her grandfather, but he's renovating the house. However, she's the type of selfless, sort of gentle person that doesn't want to impose on anyone. So instead of asking one of her friends to move in with one of them, she lives in a tent in the middle of the wilderness. However, it tends to be the uh, place where the most popular boy in school lives on their big property, Yuki Soma. So one day, you know, she's tired from work after school. She goes to her tent and she bumps into Yuki and um, Shigure, he is like the, the guardian of the house, and she has to explain herself why she's living on their property. So of course, in order to uh, make sure that she's okay and safe from wild animals and landslides, they offer her free room and board as long as she cooks and cleans for them. So she really likes this because, you know, better than living in a tent and washing in the stream every once in a while. But she's also has to butt heads with Kyo. He is a orange-haired, fiery type um, who doesn't like Yuki, but he's living in the same house with them. They have this intense rivalry because um, she finds out later that all of them, all of the, uh, there's 12 members of the uh, Soma family are cursed by animals from the Chinese zodiac. So when they're hugged by the, a member of the opposite sex, they transform into an animal. So she bumps into Yuki at first, he turns into a rat, and then she bumps into Shigure, and all of them together, Shigure is the dog and Kyo is the cat. The cat is not part of the Zodiac, he's the extra member that got excluded. So she finds out their terrible secret. It's also, she realizes the reason why Yuki is so reserved and mysterious is because he's not allowed to let literally any woman get close to him because if they bumped in, into him, he's gonna turn into a rat in front of everyone and that's not gonna be good. So they discuss it with the head of the household. Um, the Soma household is also super rich. They have like this giant estate that's as big as a neighborhood where the main people stay, people visit. And uh, they're okay with her staying there and knowing the secret as long as she doesn't tell anyone. And you know, the, they find out that the head of the Soma as a Kito is actually a bit of a tyrant. And for him to allow this is really weird so they think he's up to something. Anyways, uh, Honda Toru enjoys um, living with her new three roommates. She's a good cook, so they like her cooking. You know, she cleans the place, and um, she's the sort of gentle person that helps. She's uh, willing to accept anyone and anything because she was taught that way by her late mother that that's just the way she is. It's like a superpower, you know? Some people have the superpower of, you know, super strength, but this is a drama, a little bit of romance. So in this storyline, Honda Toru is so caring that she's willing to always listen and understand and have a lot of empathy for anyone. And we find out that the members of the Soma family are all very broken in a way that they're not allowed to touch anyone else that they love, even their own parents. So sometimes they get disowned by their own parents and uh, they have their memories wiped out by another member of the Soma family. Whenever there's an incident, uh, one of the members can do that. Uh, so, Honda Toru ends up spending most of the majority of the storyline meeting the other members through episodes. Uh, the, uh, the anime also did this as well. The anime, however, uh, only is only 26 episodes along half the story. So what it does is it takes a major plot line from like book six or seven, has that as the climax, and then has a sort of resolution with Aikido. However, the book keeps going. So I read all 23 volumes. It's Definitely was not something you can take lightly. It's 23 volumes of manga. But I was able to track them all down and she spends a good first half of the series meeting all the different members of the Soma. And what I really liked is that the books take a lot of time to develop all the characters. There's a lot of characters. There's the 12 members of the Zodiac. There's Honda, Toru. There's also her friends. There's also people at school. There's also Akito. There's also other characters that are that know of the Somas, but you know they're sort of like trusted inner circle people, and the book manages to take its time to develop all the characters with their own chapters. So, 
you might be thinking that's you know it's going to take a long time, but it's important though because you can't just have people show up and they're very underdeveloped. It's good to have fully fleshed out characters throughout this entire long series, which I really liked. I mean, the anime skips some characters, but the book doesn't. Uh, so I was reading the manga, and basically Yuki is working. Yuki is working on his uh, sort of. Um, he's not very confident. He's very. Uh, Weak because Akito locked him up in a room for most of his childhood. He's trying to become more outgoing and less cowardly. And Honda is a is a way of helping him. She's like the ray of light. And Kyo is the same way. He blames Yuki for all of his problems, but he's got his own problems. And throughout the course of the series, she affects them both in positive ways, as well as other members of the Soma Zodiac. And then Yuki ends up joining the school council, and he ends up making new friends. And it develops into a really satisfying emotional climax. And there's only able to do so with the careful writing and build up of all these characters. So even though I didn't like the artwork at the very beginning of the series, everyone sort of looks the same. The artwork improved over the course of the 23 volumes. Um, there's no like action in this movie. Uh, it's a drama. It could be a little bit soap opera-ish, a little bit melodramatic, like Days of Our Lives kind of stuff near the end. But overall, I really liked um, this series. It's definitely not um, aimed for me. It's a shoujo, so it's aimed for women. But I wanted to check it out because I liked the anime and I wanted the full story. It's definitely worth checking out if you like the anime. It um, can be a little bit uh, too much romance at the end there, but overall it's a really strong, well-done drama with developed characters. It's, I think at the time it was one of the most um, best-selling manga of the time. I definitely enjoyed reading it. Um, if you like Fruits Basket the anime or if you like dramas with lots of um, stuff going on, I definitely uh, check out Fruits Basket the manga.